today we're going to making some simple bread. This is going to be one of your favorite recipes because it is so, so easy. You don't have to knead it. You don't have to do a lot of things with this bread. Uh, it's going to be like one loaf and you're going to want to use all purpose flour or bread flour. Don't use self rising flour. So we're going to go for three cups of um, bread flour. It's also good to use whole wheat flour, but today we're just going to do white. We're going to do three cups, three cups of flour, and put it in our bowl, okay, and then we're going to do a fourth of a teaspoon of yeast, and I'm just going to be using this yeast that you see everywhere, one fourth teaspoon. Just sprinkle that around. And then we are going to use a teaspoon of salt. Let me get some salt here. Put it in our bowl. And then you're gonna whisk it around. And you can use a, you can use a fork, you can use a whisk. I've got a little dough whisk here. Um, subscriber sent me. Thank you, uh, Karen. But I'll tell you what, if you're going to, if you don't have one of those and you want Pampered Chef, if you have Pampered Chef around, this is a wonderful little whisk too. But we're going to use this around, all around so it gets that salt and the um, yeast all distributed in there. Okay, and then now we are going to go with a cup and a half of um, water. Now you want your water to be hot, not boiling, but hot. And um, I have one of these water dispensers here and it has a hot deal on it. And I love it because it's really the best temperature for stuff like this. So a cup and a half A little bit more. I had to find my little half half thing on there. I love this little, now I got too much. Little measuring cup I got here at an antique store. I love green. Green is my favorite color. Isn't that pretty? It's like depression glass green or something. So we got a cup and a half of, um, of water here. Now, if you want to put rosemary or some kind of other herb in it, you want to do it before you put your water in there. Because if you don't, then just, just make plain. Um, I do make, it's been a long time, but Chris reminded me of it the other day. I had made some rosemary bread in a crock pot. And it is so, so good. And I've been thinking about it ever since we talked about it. So I am going to have to dig that recipe up and make it again and show y'all. It is, so if you like rosemary bread, mm -mm -mm. and in the crock pot, so it don't heat up your house, so it's wonderful for the summer. Now, this is gonna be a very wet dough. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But we're gonna just work this around until everything is done. Okay, see how sticky that is? That's what I'm talking about, see? All right, so we're gonna just cover this and we are going to um, let it sit for three hours. You could use a towel, you can use saran wrap, you can use whatever you want. I'm gonna use our boots and bonnets tea towel and I'm just gonna cover it up and let it sit here for about three hours, a little more if you or busy, it doesn't matter, it's not gonna hurt nothing. Um, so just cover it up like that, put it over to the side for three hours and we'll be back. All right guys, it's been about three hours and we have our bowl here. And let's just take our cover off and see what it looks like. There it is, it looks all puffed up, that's what we want. I love that smell. 
and uh, we're just going to take some um I, I, you can do it on your cabinet i prefer not to i'm going to put you down here so you can see i'm going to put some flour on some parchment paper right here and uh, we're just going to turn this bread you don't have to to really do anything to it but it just, just takes a second to do this and um we're gonna show you how so just get you a little flour that well, three tablespoons or so and get your your dough out you don't have to get your hands dirty but i i don't mind you can use a spoon or whatever but i don't mind oh i love that smell i do 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 okay now we're just going to work it just for a minute, not really that long. Really just kind of fold it. Excess flour to the side. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, we'll put you back up on the top so you can see. Okay, so we have our, our little loaf here. We just folded it a few times, not very many. And I have a secondary bowl here. And I'm just going to put some parchment paper down in the bowl. And we're going to drop our, our loaf just right on top of that. Just like that. Now, about the last 30 minutes of it um, rising, I turned my oven on 450. And I have a Dutch oven... It's not anything special. I got it at a garage sale, I believe. And uh, there's more fancy ones out there. I've got bread flour all over me. Uh, there's more um, fancy fancy ones out there. There's less fancy ones. This was this is a cast iron, but it's porcelain covered. I just kind of liked it, so I bought it. It was a couple of dollars. So. Um, the last 30 minutes of it rising, I put that cast iron Dutch oven in the oven on 450. You want to put your bread in a hot oven. So now I'm going to get the, um, the Dutch oven out. It's going to be hot. well-loved oven and we are going to drop this parchment paper right down in here I like the shape of this Dutch oven because for bread because I kind of like my bread to be kind of that that shape okay so we're gonna do that and then we're going to put our lid back on and we're gonna stick it back in the oven, um, like I said, at 450 for 30 minutes. We're gonna do that now. We'll be back in 30 minutes. All right, guys, it has been 30 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and take this out, and I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, we're gonna take the lid off, and there is our bread. Now we're gonna stick it back in the oven. We're gonna stick it back in the oven for 10 more minutes without the lid, just so it can get crusty on top and, and really pretty and brown. So we're gonna, you can put it in there for less or more. I think about 10 minutes is pretty much perfect. 
for the brownness that we like. All right, let's get this bread out. Oh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> Isn't it? Okay, we're gonna pull it on our cooling rack. down for just a little bit and then we'll cut it open and try it. Okay, I like room temperature better, so I have some butter here. We're gonna put it on the hot bread because there's nothing like hot bread with butter. Really, really wonderful. Try this with whole wheat too, because it's so, so good. And even with, like I said, herbs. If you wanna add some herbs, um, if you're using dry herbs, you probably wanna stick to about probably a half to a three-fourths of a, uh, of a uh, tea, teaspoon, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, depending on what herb you're using. But um, fresh herbs, you, you would, of course, use a little bit more. Let's try this. Mm. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. There's just something about, I know, a woman or a man, um, when they make bread, you just feel so accomplished. <laughs> you feel like you really accomplished this great deal to make this beautiful bread. And um, it just makes you feel so wonderful. I can't wait till Chris gets home and, and can try it too. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let you go so I can enjoy this bread while it's warm. And if you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up. If you think you want to do it, give us a comment. I would love to hear y'all's comments. All right, we'll see y'all next time. Until then, keep looking to the east. Bye. It's good. Tastes just like bread. It's so much better when it's hot. I'm sorry it's not hot anymore. Could have warmed it for you. I made it toast. A, it's kind of moist. Yes. It's good. Yeah. Like it, Caleb? Mm hmm. How about a grilled cheese with it? Yum. Yeah, that'd be good. Maybe dip a little garlic butter on it or something. Mm-hmm. All right.